<clears throat> Welcome to DigiKeys Boardroom. I'm here with Mentor Graphics. My name is Randall Wrestley. I'm the Director of Applications Engineering with DigiKey, and I am here with Jim Martins, Product Marketing Manager with Mentor, uh, Jeremy Purcell, Applications Engineer with uh, DigiKey, and Dave Brady, who's the uh, Business Development Manager with Mentor. So what we're going to do here is uh, we're going to have a uh, brief introduction as to what the products are that we've just announced as a joint development between DigiKey and Mentor. And uh, I'm going to talk a little bit how you can get some support on those products. Then we're going to walk through a very quick video, a narrated video that uh, we've pre-recorded where uh, Dave Brady will be walking through aspects and uh, features of the tool. And then we'll come back for Q&A. So any questions that you have, you'll be able to ask them by tweeting to hashtag DKHOA, or you can use the Google Hangouts environment with the chat or uh, event uh, section. So with that, let me start off talking about the products. DigiKey has worked together with Mentor now for about five years, I'd say. And we wanted to find a way of coming out with a synergized package. What can we do? You know, DigiKey stocks four million parts, and or I should say carries four million parts, and we stock a million of those. And so making those parts available in tomorrow's designs was important to us. But of course, you need the symbol and footprint, and that's where Mentor comes in. They uh, make a business of having controlling every aspect of the design cycle so that the production uh, symbols and the production footprints that will be guaranteed to work on your board actually work. So we spent a lot of time to try to get that right. So the three products that we've announced together, one is Designer Schematic. That's a schematic entry package. Another is designer layout. That's a separate package. That is for print a circuit board layout. And the third is ParkQuest. This is a website. It's parkquest.com. It's free for use. And um, it's a website built by Mentor. But the back end of this is powered by DigiKey search engine. So all of the parts on the DigiKey website appear within this website. And Mentor pulling in other databases such as for symbols and footprints allows you to bind those together that can then be imported error free into the design tool. So to talk a little bit about the products. I'm going to turn it over to um, Jim Martins from uh, Mentor. Thanks Randall. This is an exciting time for Mentor Graphics. We have been talking with uh, the DigiKey company for quite a while now and uh, it comes down to delivering designer schematic which is based on XDX designer and designer layout based on pads layout and as you know these are worldwide known systems used by hundreds of thousands of engineers and millions of designs have successfully been completed in these designs uh, so we brought these products to this new market seg segment going after these professional engineers who just don't have quite the same budget as, uh, as a typical engineer sometimes does and we've actually it's not just a simplified version of these products we've actually done a lot of work on the ease of use uh, simplify it because the engineer has to focus on getting their job done, not worrying about how the tool operates. The third part you mentioned is parkquest.com. It's the website that we developed at Mentor Graphics and tied directly into the full parts catalog from DigiKey. Four million parts. And Mentors take the extra step and we've associated EDA data or the schematic symbol and the PCB footprint with over 360,000 today and we're growing that number every month. So we can alleviate the library development step from the engineer. If they select the part with the library data, it gets downloaded directly into the designer library, and they're off in design right away. Great. Thanks, Jim. Another thing I'll mention is that these are designer layout and designer schematic are annual subscription-based products. So the license comes as a subscription. So I'm going to turn it over to Jeremy and, more uh, importantly, uh, Dave Brady to uh, go through a video of the product so that we can uh, uh, learn more about it and see it a little bit in action. So we're going to take a look at a basic op-amp design just because it shows you the complete uh, flow of the tool set. Op amps are interesting because you can do anything with them. If you look at ParkQuest, there's a quick link. When we launched this product on November 2nd, we had 350,000 DigiKey part numbers covered. Today, November 19th, we have 365,000 part numbers and, covered. And, and all of DigiKey's 4 million parts are available in here. You can Absolutely. search them all. Absolutely. And you get all of the parametric information that DigiKey has. So what I've done now is I've done a little search. And I've added a part into my sandbox. I'm going to pick the part. I'm going to categorize it as an IC. 
and it immediately downloaded into my designer schematic. Now the symbol was ready to go right off the bat, but I'm a little bit picky about how my op amp symbols look, so I've dropped in and I've customized the symbol. And this is an important po point, which is you have complete control over the symbol. We're not, we don't have this pay for privacy model. Our model is, it's a desktop tool. We use the web where it makes sense, but otherwise, we're allowing you to have complete control over everything you do. That's great. That's what the engineers want to hear. So when we don't have a similar footprint, there's still a way to download the part. In this case, what I've done is I've taken a potentiometer with a switch. I've associated with the trans with a transistor just to move it down into my schematic, and then I'm able to copy and paste elements of symbols, in this case a resistor, and build a custom symbol up very, very quickly, and then use that immediately in the design. Now, in this next example, what I'm doing is I'm going out and I'm searching for all of the resistors that I'm going to use in my design. I'm waiting until I have all of my parts together. When you see that blue circle there, that means that we have a symbol and footprint from accelerated to design, which is one of the partners that we're working with so that we can provide you with high quality symbols and footprints. Now if you look at all of these different things together, what you soon realize is, is that by having the information available to you immediately, it allows you to minimize design errors. In this case, what we're talking about, the number one problem that people run into is they make errors when they type in the part number. Maybe simple transcription errors, and if you have an error in your part number, when you go to fab your board, what you find out is you run into delays because the assembly house can't find the part. Extra we have, cost, yeah. Yeah, yeah, we have a complete symbol editor built into the package. If you want a custom symbol, you can do that. There's a there's a decal editor, a footprint editor built into the layout tool, so you have complete control. If you don't like the symbol that we've delivered to you, customize it. If you don't like the footprint, customize it. Yeah, it's that's what we're talking about. Control. All four million of those parts being available to the customers. So we're going through and we're building up our schematic now because we've gone. I've gone through and I've I've gotten all of the symbols that I want. Most of these symbols I just use as is off of the website. A few of them, like the connectors and the op amp, I modified to make it look good. And we can have debates about what the best schematic capture tool is, right? But the fact is that Designer Schematic is based on technology that's been around for a long time. It's been proven by hundreds of engineers. Hey, and, and we've spent eight, nine months working on this with Mentor and actually putting interesting things and, and changing that front-end GUI. Um, there's tool tips in here to help the customer out. So it, it, we've really, uh, really changed this front-end GUI. Right, we've done a lot of work to make sure that the out-of-box ease of use is absolutely nailed. And so you can go into Designer Schematic. You don't have to read the documentation. You can just start using the tool, and it'll help you move along. What we just did is we uploaded the bomb. The integration with DigiKey isn't limited to just the front end of the process. In this case, we're creating a kit. And the nice thing about creating a kit is that if I start to order enough parts for 10 boards, I start to see the discounts that DigiKey offers for High quantity. Absolutely. Professors are going to love this. And one, thing, one important thing to note, too, is if you notice, you're able to download the EDA data before you purchase the device. Oh, yeah. So you can get way ahead of the design. Now, when we talk about how to share the design, you just zip up your project. It's completely self-contained. Send it off to your buddy. In this case, I sent it to my, my friend Gary to do the layout. He's much better at layout than I am. And one of the things that you're going to notice real quickly is the use of templates. So in this case, we're using a two-layer board. I didn't have all of the footprints in the design, and I didn't worry about it. I sent the design over to Gary without the footprints. When he brings the design in, it tells him which footprints are missing, and then he's immediately popped into the footprint selector so that he can pick from one of the 4,000 footprints that we deliver with the tool out the of the box. Engineers are going to love that. It makes life so much easier in terms of grab and go, getting the design right, done, focused right. on the objective of completion as opposed to spending... Lots of tedious hours building symbols and package footprints. changes in production. You can you can switch it over quickly. Well, and you'll notice what Gary's doing here. He's using very precision placement. When you do things like mounting holes, you want them to be <laughs> at an exact location, yeah, just not scattered around the board. And so this is one of the key things about pads. You can do the drag and drop thing. That's great. But when you need that precision, we got those controls there as well. One of the interesting things about printed circuit boards, of course, is you can put the, the parts on the top or the bottom. It's easy to do with pads. And this is what we're going to see Gary doing in a minute. He's put most of the parts on the top. Now he's going to start toggling some to the bottom. One of the things that I really like about this is that it's dynamic. So that 
as we're working through the design, if I want to change the size of the board, pretty easy to do that as well. Now what Gary's going to do is he's going to start doing the traces. And you'll notice that he's not doing a bunch of manual work here. He's making some key decisions and he's dropping traces onto the board very quickly. One of the nice things about Pad's layout is its ability to inform you about where you're making progress, right? So in this case, um, I asked Gary to give me wider traces on the power rails and then use standard traces for the signals. And he did that very, very easily with pads. You have complete control. And you'll notice toward the end of this design, what we're doing is we're actually using the bottom plane as a ground plane and that we've cut away sections of the ground plane so that we can have our traces on the top and bottom. It's a very powerful tool. It's a proven tool. Yeah, I mean, the customers are going to love this. So in all the process of the keying in, what did you have to key in? There were no need to enter any part data, right? It was just placement data and things like that that is the only thing you were keying, Exactly. Right? So by the time you get to, to dropping the components onto the board and doing the, the layout, what we've got is an automated design process. One of the other things that we've done is we spent a lot of time thinking about how do we get this design over to Fab and Assembly. And what we're using here is ODB++. And what that does is it allows you to take a single push button and generate all of the design files that you need to send to Fab and Assembly. And of course, if you want to go the old route, right? right if you want to do we Gerber, want to NC drill, that, that you can still do that. Yeah. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. But you know, you need to make sure that you generate the files. And this has always been the problem. Right. With One the, file is much easier than it. Several layers Absolutely. of server, NC drill, XY location for pick and place. So one of the key aspects is, is error-free here. We want the customers to have an error-free experience. But likewise, freedom, right? You're not tied to any one board house or uh, everybody accepts the output files from this in a uniform manner, right? Right. right. And, while, outputs. and while we're a big proponent of people using all of the DigiKey parts, if you can't find the part at DigiKey, you're not blocked. There's nothing in this tool that says you can only use DigiKey parts, right? We've just optimized the integration with DigiKey so that you can get the parts quickly and you can upload your bomb quickly. But the point is the tool is wide open. We are not controlling you in terms of pay for privacy. We're not controlling you in terms of which manufacturers you use. What technology you design. Right. It's completely under your control. This is a professional grade tool and it has been optimized so that you don't have to spend a lot of time reading documentation and figuring out how to use the tool. Big time saver. Excellent. Okay, Randy. Good. I'm leaving it back to you. So, for support of the product, <clears throat> there are uh, all of the online documentation is on eewiki.net. That happens to be the uh, website of DigiKey's application engineering department. When you go to eewiki.net, you'll see a space there called Mentor Graphics. At that website, all of the documentation and the help is there for you. So you don't actually need to buy the program in order to get the help. You can go right to that website and read all about the features. There are how many videos there? Dozens of videos, I'll say, to uh, help people get used to that. The other thing we have is a tech exchange. Tech exchange is um, DigiKey's online forum where uh, people can ask others questions. We monitor that regularly, so we'll be looking for questions coming in. Uh, what you do to uh, post a question is to go to digikey.com, find the tech exchange section, register there, and you can go ahead and uh, start asking your questions, even around this uh, seminar. And then the, um, the third thing you, we'd like you to do is uh, request an evaluation copy. To do that, you go to digikey.com, slash designer and uh, you can go ahead and uh, make that request and uh, the evaluation copy operates for uh, 15 days so you can get your um, your hands wet uh, you can refer back to this um, uh, hangout and um, uh, get your hands uh, dirty with the tool so with that I'd like to open the floor up to uh, questions and answers and um, I see we've got some questions already that have come in and uh, one is how much the tool costs. Jim, should I take that or would you prefer? Go ahead. Go ahead. So uh, it turns out the, the, the um, part quest is absolutely free. The designer schematic package costs $299 per year. That's an annual subscription. 
Now, for the first 90 days, and I'm not sure when those 90 days end, because I guess they started on the 2nd uh, or November. Second or November. Fourth, fourth of so uh, oh, fourth. it's available for $199. Now, designer layout is normally $649 a year, but for the first nine, uh, 90 days, that's available, I think, for $449. Now, there's also a bundle. And the bundle package, I think, costs $849 normally, but for the first 90 days, that's available for $599. That's a deal. That yeah. is, uh, that's a Don't forget deal. about the added three months. And uh, and what is the added three months? So so we added a three months onto that license. So uh, instead of just the yearly subscription, it's actually a, a 15 months month license Great. if you buy the bundle. So this is a good point, which is that the licensing model for a designer is based on time, right? Right now we are selling one year licenses. That's with right. with yep. certain promos you get a little bit more right, time. Right, right. It's a good time to buy. Good time to buy. So and the other thing I wanted to ask Jim was are you trapped if you use designer? Can I take this design and upgrade it to pads at any point? One of Mentor's great strengths for the you know our current product line is scalability. And we continue that with designer <laughs> products. So you know, designer. Eventually, some customers will need more automation, for example, which isn't in design, is in pads or the expedition product line. We have full scalability to be able to up, up, up import designer uh, schematic into XDX designer and designer layout into pads layout and continue on design. Your your, your design, your IP is safe. Well, and one of the things that I wanted to point out was that ParkQuest is being first launched with designer. Yes. Right. It will also be made available with PADS customers and with Expedition customers. This integration with DigiKey isn't just limited to yep. designer. It crossed all the Mentor PCB. We actually had an email exchange this morning. The made with PADS is about ready to go live. So we're awesome. uh, days away. Perfect. You know, I've had a lot of questions from the press that have asked me about the capabilities and differences between these packages. And uh, one of them I know is, um, you know, what exactly are the limitations of the designer products? Mm -hmm. Jim, you want to speak to that? Yeah, there are some limits. Uh, for example, 1,500 connections, and it's uh, six layers, and a 50 square inch board size. Okay. We are looking at introducing soon a unlimited connection version. Yeah. And then in terms of uh, features and functions, there's no technology you cannot do with designers command. Yeah. Everything you can do, whether it's analog, digital, it's all there. What what's not there it would be in pads or XDX designers. Some of the higher end features may be hierarchical designs, automatic routing, auto uh, physical design reuse. So some of the higher end features. Well, and a lot of library management. So some the, library management. The, sim the simplest implementation for designers, we implemented a search engine. So this, the same search terms that you use on the DigiKey website to find your part, yeah. you use those same search terms inside designer inside schematic to find the part. It makes yeah. it real easy. But really, designer has no library management per se. Right. You need to step up an infrastructure. Yeah. You need to do that when you have teams of designers. Like we've said, designer is really focused on the individual professional and not the corporate infrastructure kind of, of uh, application. So we've got two minutes. And I've got two questions that uh, have also been asked a lot of times. And uh, one of those has to do with um, compatibility with the higher end tools. So uh, a design entered and captured with one of the designer schematic and designer layout products. Can you open those in the uh, expedition tools in the higher so end? And what about vice versa? Sure. So there's a difference between scalability and interoperability. So scalability, yes, you can take the designer schematic and layout into XDX designer and pads with an import. Likewise, if the designs from pads or XDX designer are within the limits, you can import those into designer schematic I see. and layout. Well, Mentor is investing quite a bit in reference designs that will be in XDX Designer and Pads format. Ah. We can read those right into XDX Designer or Arduino, Bealable and Black, or other be available to go right into Designer product line. Yeah. Right. There is interoperability. Uh, designer schematic cannot uh, import it, uh, send a netlist to Pads layout, for example. It's an encrypted netlist. I see. Uh, I see. So that's good to know. Now, you know, Ashley, we have, uh, I think, run out of time. I'm looking over at our operator, see how much time we have. Uh, another. Uh, uh, 10 seconds or so, so I'm going to look to see if any other questions come in. Well, I, I wanted to point out that if anybody has any questions they haven't had a chance to answer, they can always go to Tech Exchange. Absolutely. We're all looking Absolutely. at it. We're more than happy to jump in and answer questions or communicate with your peers. Yeah. Great. So come. with that, uh, any other closing comments from anyone? Come check, come check out the eval. Yeah, 15-day free license. Yeah, please try Designer. We be, we really would like to hear back from you with your experience. And if you have designs you want to submit for future shows for the 
the Google Hangouts Absolutely. that we're going to be doing in the future. Um, we'd be honored to be able to talk with you about your designs. Let us know. Thank you very much for joining us. Goodbye, Thank everybody. You. Goodbye. Goodbye.